Hello everybody, I'm Daryl at Weebiner Motor Caravan and today we have the Niesman and Bischoff Auto 64 GL. And I'm Shane. And here's Daryl again. Hello. Look. Look at this. I found my way out the garage without falling over. I know, I've got to admit, we did try to keep him in there. <laughs> he's only been there for three days, so he's, he's, we've been fair to him, haven't you? A bit dehydrated, but... From when you dented that van, that's why. Oh, that's why we put him in there, dented the van. Yeah. Anyway, so this Niesman, you beautiful. fell in love already, haven't you? Yeah, she's beautiful. It's just a lovely front end on it. When these lights are lit up and everything like that, I won't put it on because it beeps like anything. Uh, because the keys bring the ignition, but it's absolutely stunning. 2015 this model is. It's about the last year I think they did the 64. Uh, the, I think the, the latest one in 2022 is a 76, which is a little bit longer, but this is probably one of my favourite Nismans actually. Yeah. And with it being on the three and a half ton as well, anyone can drive it. The three and a half ton's absolutely key. To have an A-class and a Nisman on a three and a half ton chassis, I think is unreal. It's not got an amazing payload of 400 kilograms, but it's about average for the age. And it's enough, isn't it, to get out and... Yeah, it's enough on your own. But yeah, it's got to look around. <laughs> and we do have the alloys below. Yeah, nice diamond cut wheels. Exactly. I mean, the Niesmans come relatively low spec, but then you build them up. Yeah, it just seems to be the German way with most things, whether it's cars or whatever. Heated bus mirrors. Yep. And then... Fuel cap. Yeah, that's the most expensive part at the moment. The fuel cap, yeah, exactly, yeah. Now I've got a bad back, so Daryl's going to do the <laughs> leg work for me, starting with this locker down here. As demonstrated by your beautiful assistant. <laughs> this is a, an add-on, so it doesn't come again. As Shane said earlier, you, you pretty much have to add everything on as you go along. So you've got a nice 20 kilogram dry storage. Yeah. You can keep things like your shocks and your electrics. And... Yeah. yeah. Next up, we've got the 240 volt up and the water infill for the tanks which then, aren't which aren't still bad too it's still too bad um, on something this size you do or quality you tend to get big tanks water yeah. and fresh tanks but these are 120, 120 which again yeah. is all right it's yeah. fine 20 isn't it yeah, yeah. Uh, then you've got your your valves and your wastewater again it is yeah again something german you do expect to have easy access to things like this so you can just pull the lever and out it goes all nice and neat. And now over to you, Daryl, for the back end. Yeah. So right round the back, we've got this lovely big Alco tow bar. Ideal for if you want to take a little tow car with you on a trailer or an A-frame. Absolutely essential. And then you have got a little bit of magic, which Shane is probably going to... There you go, look. As you put it in reverse, your badge fl flies open and you've got a little reversing camera so you can see exactly where you're going. And then you've also got your LED lighting finished off with your nice chrome surrounds, which do really add that little finishing bit of class, as you'd expect from the Germans. And make our way around. And then we come back to where I started the video, in the garage, my favorite place. As you can see, nice big garage. You have also got your twin bike rack in there, which is handy, so you don't get your bike stolen off the back. And something I do like about this, all the car uh, the walls are carpeted. Uh, again, you've got further sockets on the right hand side, bit of shelving area. And I think if you if we have a look up here, we have like the cassette toilet so you can get to here when it's dry. Some people like to carry a spare one on something this sort of quality. Yeah. But yeah, this is great. I mean, like you said. Bikes are expensive now, aren't they? Yeah, very. People spend thousands and thousands, and when they're just on the back, they can get nicked easy. With that being there, it just takes that risk away. Yeah, definitely. You've told me my back's still hurting. I'm really sorry. <laughs> You're okay, fam. What have we got down here, please? <laughs> so down here you have the gas low system, which is your refillable LPG. Saves on people like Shane with a bad back, lugging your gas bottles about. They stay in there. Literally just fill it up at the petrol station. A lot cheaper than yeah. Than you are having to buy new gas bottles, so just on a gas nozzle, just like a yeah, like just fuel it up, up as well. If you fuel up. Nice integrated awning at the top, and you've got the LED strip running all the way down as well, which yeah. obviously you can't see right now. And it's pretty much the full length, which is good. So, lovely big double steps, yeah. it just makes it feel classy, and it just makes it feel like a big thing without it being big. Does that make sense? Makes sense. 
Makes sense, yeah. This has got a double floor, so it gives you the nice handy features such as your battery areas in there, and your fuse box if you ever need to change anything, it's nice and easily accessible. We've got another little one around the corner here, which has got a subwoofer in, which it has got surround sound speaker system as well, so that's an additional extra. And there's also a water heater in there as well for your heating. Moving backwards, there's another one at the back here, which is a little bit of storage, which is a nice little handy feature. There is another two. Both of those are for your water tank. Again, just makes everything nice and easily accessible. At the rear, we do have, above this great big transverse garage, a transverse bed. Would you believe it? I know. <laughs> and it's really, it's really comfy actually. Yeah. I lay down there because I've got a bad back. I don't know if I mentioned it. You might have done. Um, I mean, even things like under here, where you've got the springs, just to make sure everything's nice and comfy. I think it's like a memory foam mattress as well. Yeah. Again, it's very nice. Extra. I mean, even when it comes around to the lockers, all the way around, nice touch and open, plenty of them all the way, reading lights at the back. Oh, and by the way, look at that, it's a fabric awesome. roof. And the walls. And the walls, all fabric carpeted walls, there's no messing around in here. I, I can't believe they've actually got all this in 3.1 tonne, actually. Yeah, I'm amazed. And the quality of it is just... I mean, everything like, you know, the, the fabric walls, the carpeted walls, the the better quality materials. Yeah, it's just all the little space saving bits as well. It's just like the step to get onto the bed, which we'll show you shortly. It's just all just engineered perfectly. Double floor, yeah, and double floor, which means you can store stuff underneath, which again, we'll show you. It's, I'm very impressed. Yeah. So just quickly here, you have the wash basin, your nice grown taps. Vanity mirror, which gives you a bit more storage as well. And then underneath, there's even more storage. There's plenty of storage room. And then you have a nice big wardrobe with your Audi water heating system. And then, which is accessible from this bottom cupboard here. If you do ever need any repairs, it's really easily accessible from the bottom drawer. And then we have the shower room stroke toilet. So you've got your door, which does shut off the rest of the uh, motorhome. But then you've got this really clever toilet system. Literally just push that handle in, oh, excuse me, and spin it round. It gives you this huge, great big shower, which I think is one of the best features on it. It's just the engineering behind that alone is absolutely incredible. And you've even got this really nice bit of leather on the back of the door. Again, just a really nice quality finish. Into the kitchen area, you've got your Dometic fridge freezer, three ring burner, you've got your sink with a chopping board, and you've also got these really nice lockable drawers. Stop everything flying about as you're driving along. A few overhead lockers, and you've also got your fan on your ceiling, and again, the felt roof carries on the whole way through really, which is absolutely Beautiful. Here, this you do get the proper latches which is literally just a push button and everything slides across you can see it on the sides as you pull it's just one simple latch system okay so around the habitation door we do have all this lovely wood and heavy wood as well like I said the quality is absolutely spot on in these bins. You've got the control panel, which does all your waters, your gas and everything. We've got a Waco inverter button here, which is again, another great feature. And the LD heating system, which is a wet radiator system. It's not the blown air like you normally would. Now, I don't know if the camera can quite see this, but there's a load of little blue lights there. Yeah, you can see that? Turn them white, turn them red. It's like the Union Jack, look at that. Beautiful. Then just below, which it's lighting up nicely around the top, we do have this TV with a lovely sign bar below. Again, nice push-click for your remotes, for your satellite system on top, as, as Del Boy would call it. All your buttons, your control for the electric step, nice big heavy door, and then to finish off, your shoe wrap just below. So we do have a nice big lounge, as you can see, that look. Two bench seats, same size, 
and these also swivel. You do have a lot of options with the Neesman in terms of upholstery. You can have a cushion that's one material or colour and the base cushion are different. You can mix and match. I don't know the exact numbers, but I'll probably say you've got 20, 30 different combinations you can choose from. It does move around so you can get in and out. Again, overhead lockers as we go up and high. Plenty of space just to put your phones and everything like that. Games, maybe. And then because it's got the sound system, you've got a nice speaker here as well. And then something I do want to tell you, it's a four berth with three bells. Let's have a look. Just above this lovely cab area, which we'll get to very shortly, we've got, again, really nice leather frontage. It's not electric, it's just a pull catch. And then it sits all the way down, nice and low. It's pretty accessible. I'll probably say you just step on the lounge to get in, and then you are right in. The only thing that's probably slightly missing is reading light, something like that. Memory foam mattress, same spring system as at the back. And then you've got a little net that does pull up as well, just so you don't fall out of bed when you've had a few too many shandies. And then we have the third seatbelt, which is a forward-facing travel seat, which I'll try and do a quick run through for you now. As you can see, it's built into the floor. It has got all these little bits of levers, but to be honest, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So fairly straightforward, couple of blazer levers and you've got a forward facing travel seat. And with these two front seats you have got the really easy swiveling system. Just flick the latch up and look how easy they spin around. No pulling the seats backwards and forwards, just one catch and they spin all the way around nice and easy. And again, equipped with the twin armrests. So in the cab area you've got your half leather interior really nice cream leather and again you've got your extra fabric which is a different colour and then in the cab you've got your six speed automatic gearbox leather steering wheel which is really nice and you've got your Zenic head unit with sat nav DAB DVD it'll have your phone connectivity on there as well climate control with air conditioning then you've also got front and rear fogs and traction control plus Moving over then you have got also you've got cruise control on here and then you've got a few little buttons on the front which you can put your steps in if you forget to put them in. And then to finish it off you've also got the really nice electric front blind. So what do we think? Lovely. It's right hand drive off being the perfect motor in yeah. my opinion. But at the same time, if you want something for Europe, especially with all these flights cancelling right now. Yeah, definitely. It's perfect. I'm just trying to think of what it's really missing. I'd probably say that the only thing that's missing you could do with an external shower point, barbecue point maybe. If you're Being fussing. picky, mm. a bit more payload, but I don't, obviously then you're weighing against your three and a half ton. Yeah. It depends what your preferences are. Yeah, definitely. So yes, will we, we buy any motor caravan? He's Daryl. He's Shane. Tune in for the next one, hit subscribe, hit like, we'll see you soon.